Hello everyone and welcome to The Manifesting House where we discuss easy, effective methods you'll want to commit to today. I have two wonderful success stories for you on the topic of changing one's appearance with affirmations. Affirmations is a technique I've recently realized that I haven't really explored much on this channel. And though this channel is fairly new, I rarely recognize the usefulness of affirmations in my own life, if I'm being honest with you. I think it's just the way that I was exposed to them that kind of made me feel like they weren't that valuable. But the success stories in this video have really turned me back onto affirmations and I'm sure they'll do the same for you. So without further delay, here are your stories. Within the last few months, I've started telling myself that I look skinny, I have a big brown butt, <laughs> I have a perfect hourglass figure. I guess you could technically call these affirmations, although I didn't recite these phrases like most people do when consciously using affirmations. Instead, I just casually said them, though consistently. I just allowed these phrases to casually become part of my self-talk. Well, let me tell you, in March, I weighed 192 pounds, which is medically unhealthy and honestly i could feel the extra weight weighing me down too i wanted to shape up but i also wanted to use the law and my mindset for this goal instead of the traditional methods and the outside actions i have not worked out or changed the way i eat but i now weigh 160 pounds so i've lost 30 pounds in a few months by doing absolutely nothing physical not bad Everything I've done has been entirely mental. All I've done, basically, is changed my self-image and my self-talk. I used to be a really bad binge eater for years, but I stopped feeling guilty every time I ate something I loved, which honestly is kinda like everything. I've been eating anything I want and I take time to truly enjoy it. I've stopped thinking about how fat the food is going to make me and instead, I just focus on the food and how happy it's making me. My weight loss and body changes has become so obvious that I get complimented on it. People really think I'm dieting and exercising, but I'm not. My body is still improving each day and it's so amazing to watch. My butt really is getting bigger and rounder and I can see my hourglass figure forming more and more. It's literally magical. I'll go ahead and end my story here by saying you can do anything as long as you can get yourself to believe it. Call it. Call it as though it's true now and watch the whole world conform to your truth. using affirmations to attract changes in my appearance for the past four years. During this time, I've had plenty of success and with each intentional manifestation, my faith just increases, thereby increasing the momentum and the speed and accuracy in which I'm able to manifest things. There are things I'm still working on manifesting, however. For example, there's a pre-existing medical condition that I'd like to heal. With this specific topic, I have some doubts which I'm working through still, but on the topic of changing my appearance, I'd consider myself an expert in because I'm very successful in this. So I thought I would be generous and share my process with you. If you don't believe anything I say, then don't. Or you could just try for yourself and I guarantee it will work. Most of my best successes have come from experiments anyways. Make sure if you're experimenting on an aspect of your appearance that it's not something that you've gathered much resistance on. Resistance can be defined as doubts, desperation, basically anything that makes you feel negatively. 
if you choose to intend something in this category, it may not work for you because the resistance you've built up may be too strong to overcome your new intentions. As you can't possibly be sure you'll always remain in the new positive state of being, it's best to just avoid this particular item until your faith has become stronger, that is. Just let it be a lighthearted experiment. Have this mentality. It's just an experiment. You just want to see what happens. My experience with changing my appearance was through the use of affirmations. I repeat these affirmations on a daily basis until my mind starts to think, why am I doing this? I already have it. Many people use affirmations but fail to understand that the sole purpose of an affirmation is to help you feel as though you are already the person you want to be. So if you need to repeat a single affirmation 1000 times a day to achieve this feeling, do it. If you need to repeat a single affirmation for 1000 days to achieve this feeling, do that too. Because the most important part of manifestation is the state of feeling, that state of being. And you won't manifest it in your physical reality until you first manifest it in your inner reality. It was a very odd feeling once I physically manifested the jawline I wanted because once I got it, I felt like I had this all my life and my straighter nose affirmations, they resulted in the same experience. It felt like I always had this. Many people who've known me from the past automatically assume I've had a nose job or some work done to my face. My results are very apparent. I've altered my jaw, my nose, my hairline. I'm a woman, but my hairline had begun to prematurely recede, which made me very uncomfortable until I fixed it through affirmations. I've improved my thighs in a way I never could through exercise, believe it or not. And believe it or not, I've actually been able to lighten the melanin just a tad bit in my eyes. I mean, I see a difference and some people do too. It is a minor change, but still, it is a change. If you're manifesting correctly, the changes to your appearance will not feel different because you would have already spent days, weeks, or months embodying the desired traits. Whatever you embody it becomes you and vice versa, so it helps to set deadlines reminding you that you were at a different state. Deadlines, deadlines help me at least but I understand they might not be best for everyone. You can check with before and after pictures once you've reached a deadline, so that's why I like using them. But again, if they're not for you, they're not for you. Create an affirmation that clearly states what you want in the present tense. If you're no good at thinking up your own, nowadays you can just find many affirmations that can help you with anything. So just research it and try the affirmations that you find until you find one that feels right. Always remember to embody how it feels. If you're truly doing it right, you'll be satisfied with the way you look most of the time. Your affirmations will begin to feel like honest statements. And with that being said, thank you for watching this video. I truly do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I trust you'll give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. I personally love how these two individuals beautifully blended affirmations with living in the end. The first time I was exposed to affirmations, it was a very rudimentary example of mindlessly repeating a positive phrase for like five minutes or so. It's no wonder I couldn't commit to it. I couldn't feel anything and I knew I wasn't doing anything. But anyways, how did you like today's stories? Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section down below. I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Toodles.